Okay, so I just watched the preview for a movie called Between Worlds, which stars Nicolas Cage. Uh, we all know who Nick Cage is. And uh, uh, Franca Potente, who she was... I first remember seeing her in Run, Lola, Run back in the late 90s. It was like an indie artsy film uh, coming from uh, Germany, I think. And then um, she was in uh, The Born Identity and The Born Supremacy. She played uh, Matt Damon's uh, love interest that, you know, he asked her for a ride in the beginning of the film and said, I'll give you $10,000. And she was like, OK. And then he, he had to go to Paris and then she took him and then she got wrapped up all in the stuff. And then she wound up getting killed in the second film, the beginning of the second movie, The Born Supremacy. Love her to death. I think she's great. So it's nice to see her in this preview. Uh, and then it's also, uh, there's an actress named Penelope Mitchell, who I'm really not familiar with, to be honest with you. I, I need to do a little investigating on her. But um, uh, so apparently the story follows uh, Nicolas Cage. He plays this uh, truck driver named Joe, and he's uh, haunted by memories. I'm reading off the, bi the, the bio. He's haunted by the memories of uh, his wife and daughter who were killed. OK, and then uh, he meets uh, Julie, played by uh, Franca, and uh, she's spiritually gifted woman and uh, she enlists uh, Nicolas Cage to find uh, a lost soul um, uh, in her comatose daughter and uh, played by uh, Penelope Mitchell. And uh, but what happens is when she conjures up the soul of the, the, the daughter, uh, she acts, actually brings back the dead wife, like possesses the body of the daughter. When, so when the daughter comes back and she's alive, um, she has the uh, uh, what's in her is uh, the, the possessed uh, bringing back of Nicolas Cage's wife. And so then craziness ensues and it becomes like an exorcist movie. Uh, the trailer has uh, uh, the, the actress uh, who's playing the possessed one going after and killing people and everything. It's just, it becomes this crazy, crazy uh, uh, quick cut um, uh, trailer. Uh, and it seems scary, but you know, you don't really know if it's scary. Uh, it's rated R, and uh, and that's for uh, sex and drugs and you know, rock and roll, uh, language and violence. Um, but I will say uh, the trailer opens with um, Nicolas Cage saying uh, these words, I don't understand how it happened. The universe giving me a second chance. See, he survived the car accident, but that line almost feels like it's a callback to like his career you know uh he doesn't understand what happened but the universe keeps giving him a second chance so look this is like the third movie i think uh, uh nicholas cage has done in alabama it was shot in alabama um he does a lot of straight i don't even know if this is straight to video or not but uh it looks like a straight to video flip but look nicholas cage you know he got burned by his accountant and his crazy spending. I think he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a, on a T-Rex skull just to have at his house. And he collected Bentleys and he did all this shit at the height of his fame. And so, and then, you know, he had back taxes and all stuff and his manager mishandled his money and all that. And he went like bellied up. So as soon as he like got back on his feet, he just started knocking out one after another, after another of these low budget films where if they're paying him a million bucks or $200,000, he's showing up. And I applaud him because he's like resurrected his career, um, you, you know, and he just keeps making films. Sometimes he'll make like five in a year, six in a year. And, uh, look, my hat's off to Nick Cage, uh, for keeping it real and, um, just rocking and rolling and keep knocking out these movies. Um, so if you want to check out this film, it's called Between Worlds. It's a possession, uh, uh, demon kind of movie. Um, and Nicolas Cage plays a truck driver and he looks like shit in this movie. So he's really taken on that method acting of the role and becoming this really nasty truck driver. So it's like poor white trash meets the exorcist. So if you like that kind of movie, check out Between Worlds. 
Um, if you like this video, this is my first look thoughts on it. If you like this video, like it, share it, um, spread it around on social media, subscribe to my channel, and uh, uh, let's talk about this movie in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are if you see the trailer or if you see the movie, and we'll see you next time.